in the 12. They almost rubbed wheels coming down the front straightaway. The field bunches up down in three and four. Green flag about to fly over DJ Christie in that green number five. And Brad Heron in the 12 who muscles his way down to the inside. Green wide for the lead off of corner number two. And coming out on top is Brad Heron, Jesse Costa to his outside. DJ Christie right there behind Bo. You can see a huge difference in the confidence on the DJ Christie from what we saw last season. Front row. Bounced pretty good. Slide, slide, gets back on the throttle. We are still under green night, saved by that young man. tire and viciously flipped. I mean, I had just talked about how he was using a lot of racetrack, but keeping the keeping the throttle down because in a sprint car more so than a lot of other race cars, Greg, you have to stay on the throttle. That's that's what they're designed for, and they're much easier to drive when you're driving them fast. You see the crew there again spraying the safety foam on the car. As we had the issues last year with the fluids, the fuel and that leaking out on the track, they Pull the car back over upright and uh, some heat from the exhaust and the motor would catch fire. And now they've got this foam that they can spray down and prevent that from happening as you can see. The damage, heavy, heavy front end damage on that 17. With Jeffrey there on the scene. Driver moving around, Josh is there. Takes yep. the steering wheel off, so that's a good sign. You know, I was I was driving down Garden Ave this afternoon. Permission to move it under the red. Well, I would think so since there's a push truck pushing it. But that that comes out of the driver's hands at that point. Josh Giraldi, I hope you got a picture of that race car tonight when you rolled it off the trailer. But I will say this. Take another picture of it tonight when you put it on the trailer, because you will look back and think, wow, what a night that was. Jesse Costa, we heard that name a few times when people were talking about who was gonna win the inaugural Action Sprint Tour race. Jesse Costa got a couple of mentions, looking good right now, leading the way in heat race number one. Bailey Hurd's going to qualify for the main event because of that penalty. 
Hill will go back to the B main because of the penalty. Did I hear correct? He hit the cone or went below the cone? He hit the cone. So that is two places that you are docked. So that takes him from fifth to seventh, which should put him on the pole for the B main. 24 cars will start the feature. 30 cars are in attendance. Second qualifying. First off, Jesse Costa drew fifth position for the redraw, and Brad Heron drew outside pole number two for the feature tonight, guys. We'll talk about that after this heat race, the way they're doing the draws and redraws for the feature. I think it's fantastic. Green flag about to fly on heat race number two for the Action Sprint Tour. the dip, he has fired the steering wheel off, he has fired the belts off. All want to be a part of it, so we'll see if Josh has the equipment in the pits to get that car back together and get out for the B main. I did not confirm with Clint, but is this a regular points night as well? It's our kind of, our yeah. kind of fella. He's a multi-purpose Facebook friend, not just for racing, but for food, food photos. Because you need help finding the food. Ryan Hunsinger there in the second spot. Jacob Dykstra, tight there in the third. As we come down to complete the second lap of eight. The second lap of eight. Second in the second heat, and you could still be starting on the pole. So Hunsinger is Dykstra doing it now. Hunsinger is stuck to the bottom groove. He's pretty committed to the inside. Dykstra working the outside, working over the bumps. And they're pretty much dead even halfway down every straightaway. Tour feature event later on this evening. Uh, guys, Ryan Huntinger drew a six. 
Aaron Turkey drew a four for the redraw. So positions one and three are still available for the feature. Wow, good starting spot. Did you get a chance to talk to either of the, them about the racetrack plan? Yeah, I can't repeat what was said. Uh, crew is getting ready to go to work right after. We're going to fix it after this heat. Slow roll towards the green flag. Green is in the air. We're underway. Sean Evans in that accident insurance number 87 actually shoots away from the pack. Picked up his first touch. We can win one year ago. Up to the outside go a few of these drivers. Not sure that's the place to be, but Hannah Farrell got a great start in that four. Side by side with Derek Lemaire. Down into turn one. Derek Lemaire in the Burger Burn 56. down into turn number three. The car did turn, so Derek Lemaire has put himself into a bad position as we reach the halfway of this action sprint to a great sprint car. So Lucas Smith had a great run, did a great job battling his way towards a qualified spot. But Blaine Barrow, a rookie in the field, Blaine Barrow did nothing wrong. He, he no. held a steady line. It yeah. just happened to be the spot that Lucas Smith wanted to go. That will conclude qualifying for the Action Sprint Tour, brought to you by RaceRivals.com. As you heard Glenn say, they're going to bring out the track crew now, I believe, and work on this racing surface to say it's been a challenge. There are smooth spots. 360s and crates will start 24 cars this year. That's a brand new rule. Tonight's the first night, so you're not out of place. And you're right, six cars in, they're all gonna make it. There were six positions available. Instead of taking it from 10 laps, we're gonna drop it back to four, keep things hustling along and get these guys, give them four laps to sort out their position at the back of this feature. Green flag in the air. They're checking out the, the axles on that car, guys, but I think Trevor might have just realized, let's live to race another day. We're in. Why beat it up?
the right choice. I want a clear screen in front of me. I want no dirt being kicked up. I want a chance to win the first ever Action Sprint Tour feature event. We're going to find out who's going to get it done in 20 laps. Double greens in hand. Kyle McKenzie cuts them loose and we are underway for the Action Sprint Tour. Kicking up dust down the front straightaway into turn number one. One and two look clear. The driver I'm watching Watch that bright yellow wing, DJ Christie in the five. Rob Neely made some contact there for turn two. It's getting hairy already, but DJ Christie is hard on the loud bit. Look at that hair in the 12 is all the way out of the top of the 20. And troubles for that outside pole center. Also troubles for Derek O'Hare. 56 feet all the way around the track. Is there a left front broke on that car? Something, something is big time broke. That car is laid over hard. Brad Heron in the 12 had problems as well. Two minutes in the work area for 56 and the 12. So Derek Lemaire and Brad Heron. Clinton Jeffrey, I believe, is on his way back to the pits as well. So Aaron Turkey got a great start in the 68, Sean. We're gonna go green, Aaron Turkey leading the way in that 68 over Sean Evans in the red 87, Caleb Wood in the white number seven, and they are at a snail's pace in three and four. Green flag back on the field, super mile pass that. champion will not go to victory lane tonight as they attend to Holly Porter down in corner three but she has climbed out of the car or is in the process of doing so right now and she is out now thankfully and she did not throw her steering wheel Well, guys, if you recall, this is how Holly ended her season last year and still managed to be the point champion getting wrecked on the final points night we get over here and talk with the Strickland champ and these ruts on the inside here are pretty deep and we'll get her car picked up from the back end here. Holly, get Holly over here for a minute. Holly, uh, trying conditions here tonight, but you're all right, that's the main thing? Yeah, I'm all right. Tough break, uh, other than uh, the track, I mean, your car looked pretty good tonight to get the season underway. This is just telling the fans, this is kind of how you ended last year. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, hopefully we can rebound from this, but uh, it's tough. All right, down to the car, ladies and gentlemen. How about a hand for our lady champ, Holly Porter? Right before that happened, Caleb Wood, who had a nice run going up in the third position, pulled off the track as well. Yeah. Problem. It's Aaron Turkey, Sean Evans, Jesse Costa, talked about him early in the night about winning the very first action it's, for sure race. It's, right any, there. it's anybody's race. There's 17 laps to go. So much can happen in that time. Aaron Turkey, consistent with his restart, slowly rolling to pick up the pace. Back in the I would have 
have to say comparisons to Dylan Westbrook, you know, if I can say it, just all out, not caring about nothing, just giving her. Well, you know, you know this as well as anybody, a couple drivers pulling off, I believe that's Paul Valentine and Paul Plager. There are drivers who own and work on their equipment, and there are drivers who don't. And some of those who don't drive it as though it's their own. Wow, Anna Farrell got really out of shape in turn three. We got a number of cars getting out of shape. And some drivers are told, look, drive it like you stole it. Stephen Beckett with a bro broken tie rod on the front of this one, guys, so he will need a pickup. Four laps to go, the pylon being brought out to the front straightaway. That three topping pizza would go good right now, wouldn't it? Oh, it would go very well. DJ Christie's been getting good starts. Aaron Turkey with these super slow starts and restarts. Christie has been able to get some speed out of that race car quickly. Let's see if he can here. Green flag is out. Four laps to go to the end. Well, with four laps to go, the one good thing for Aaron Turkey is there's really not going to be lap traffic to contend with. Jesse Cossack has to work on holding off. Second spot, Christy just drove it down the bottom. Costa going to return the favor and drive it deep into three and four as we've got two laps to go.
driver has that one night where they make their mark. I think PJ Christie did it tonight. Impressive run in that five-star car coming home in third. Lucas Smith did a nice job grabbing fourth. Here in Turkey, eighth career win. Puts him two behind Ryan Hunt's.